Hey, what's going on guys? On today's how-to, I'm going to be showing you how to install this Rally Innovation skid guard on my 2004 STI. Now, Rally Innovations was actually kind enough to send the skid guard to me to do this install on, and they are hooking you guys up with $25 off every single purchase through their website. So let's get started with this install. So this is the skid guard they send you. It's actually really good quality and good metal. And then this is the light bar. This is the actual piece that you'll attach the lights to. This is their standard texture black. They also have a gunmetal gray and a silver version. And then this is the bracket that you'll need to attach to underneath the car. So the first thing you need to do is take off your OEM splash guard. All right, so I don't have the OEM splash guard on here anymore, but when I did, I do remember having to cut a little bit out of it to get this bracket to fit, but it's no big deal. So once you get that off, you take this bracket with this bolt in here, push it into this big hole and then you're trying to get the threads into this one so you just push this in here and it takes a little time to get it right but now that's in there so the whole point of this is when you're tightening it down that bracket locks against the metal on the inside of there so put both of those in there so now that you got both of these pieces in here, it's time to install your bracket. Now when I first installed this bracket quite a few years ago to install the old Rally Innovations light bar, I did cut into my bumper a little bit, but you don't have to. This bracket will actually sit on the top side. I just like the way it fit in here a little bit better. So in order to install this, just put this up on both of your threads, kind of hold the other side with your knee, and then install your regular washer, and then your lock washer, and then your nut. So as far as getting this thing put together, it's really quite simple. So this obviously goes towards the front of the car, and then these pieces where the lights will bolt in will face the back. So you just bolt these into this hole right here. So now that you have your bar mounted up, it's time to put on these brackets that your lights attach to. So they supply you with these little bolts that attach them to the single hole here, and then the one hole that slides, you put on the back side of this, and then you'll mount these up. And you can keep these loose for now until you figure out exactly how you want your mount lights to be mounted. So as far as your lights, I just have these cheap ones I have. I've had them forever. I think it's about time for an upgrade. But to install these, just whatever hardware that comes with them, and those will attach to the top bolt right in here. So it's pretty easy to do. As I said, these look really good with or without the lights, so it's up to you. Personally, I like having the lights on there. So once you got the skid guard actually put together, it's really easy to install this thing to the car. Just bolt it up like this. I'm putting these bolts into the bigger slider holes, just so you have lots more room for adjustment. So just tighten these thing up just a little bit. And then once you got them both in there, just keep it kind of loose so you still have room for adjustment so you can kind of figure out exactly how far away from the car you actually want it to be. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If this isn't exactly what you're looking for, be sure to check out my other video of me installing their light bar. It's a little bit more of an aggressive look, but I still like the way the skid guard looks even without the lights. So be sure to like and subscribe.